Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is time once again for another Upcycled Fashions video. As always, I am going to try to keep this one very simple, very quick, and I need to redeem myself because Ben and Jason from New York, hi Ben and Jason, had sent me a bunch of clothes. In there I had at least three men's dress shirts. I screwed up two of them so far. <laughs> I don't know if this is my last one from them, but I don't want to take any chances, so I'm going with very simple. One was turned into a skirt with pleats that looked like cheerleader from hell, and then another one was an idea I got from somebody else's video. I really liked it on their video, hated it on mine. I'll link down below to those, just in case you want to watch my train wrecks. This, I plan on just making a very simple skirt for my smaller mannequin, because she gets left out. My thinking is, after I'm done the skirt, which will be this video, the fabric that I have left over, I'll try to do a part two next week and make some kind of a crop top or something, some kind of a top, to go with that skirt. But we're going to split it up so I don't get worn out. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. So let's just go on over to the sewing table and get started. As I mentioned, I am aiming for super easy. Let's just hope I really can accomplish that. <laughs> That means this might be a very good project for someone who doesn't really know much about sewing. You could make men's shirts or women's shirts into skirts for yourself, for your kids, whatever. Very basic. All we're going to do is cut, make a casing for the waist, pass an elastic through, and we are done. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you could always try some uh, fabric glue, liquid stitch, or whatever there's different names of it, and you could try doing that. First, you just want to make sure you have a shirt wide enough to fit your hips comfortably. So you could always just take the shirt and tie it around your hips and, you know, sit down and make sure it's all comfy and all that. The length is up to you. I'm going to try to salvage the top part of the shirt for a shirt that I will try to make next week. So I'm going to be cutting under the underarms. But if you wanted a longer skirt and you have a shirt wide enough, you could always cut all the way up to the shoulders and down as long as the shoulder part would be wide enough to fit your hips. So let's just get started. I have the shirt buttoned and I folded it in half. So I'm just cutting under the arms and I'm just cutting straight across. Now we have this. I am going to make it so that the waist is elastic and it won't be a skirt that you can open fully, but I am going to leave these buttons as is and not sew this down in case somebody wanted to unbutton the skirt a little bit to make it, you know, have a slit and it could even be turned to the side. Now all we have to do is make a casing. What I do is I just fold over once and then I fold over again and then I just stitch and I leave an opening and I make sure that it's going to be wide enough for whatever elastic I'm going to be using. So let's go to the machine. Somewhere in this house I have a bag filled with just elastics, but I have no idea where that is. I haven't run into it yet. All I have handy is one inch and a quarter inch. One inch, I just didn't want all that bulk. Quarter inch, I don't think it would be stretchy enough to uh, gather the skirt good. So I took my one inch and I just cut it to about a half an inch. Now I'm just going to sew a zigzag stitch along the raw edge. I will stretch and sew just to keep that raw edge from fraying so much. Do you like how you didn't see any of that? <laughs> such a loser. This is not going to show in the skirt anyway, but I just wanted to do a zigzag just because I can. The first thing I'm going to do before making the casing is, since I know I'm going to be, you know, folding down the open part of the shirt, I'm going to go ahead and sew that shut just for a little ways. I'm going to start at a side seam and what I'm going to do first is just fold over about a quarter of an inch and I'm going to sew all around. Now at the part where it buttons up I don't want that to be as thick so I'm going to cut a piece of this 
inside fabric off. That gives me less to have to fold and sew. Now I'm just going to fold over about a like three quarters of an inch. I just want to make sure that my elastic can go through there. So maybe like this much. And you can go ahead and pin this if you want in advance and then sew. I just don't do that because I'm a rebel. And I'm going to just um, eyeball it because I've done this a lot of times. But I still screw up. And I'm going to uh, just start and I'm going to back up a little bit. And I'm going to remember when I get to the end to leave an opening so we can pass the elastic. And I started on a side seam. Now I'm going to say, when you're sewing, since there is a curve in that shirt, when you're folding it over, this part might be wider than here. And it's okay if it bunches up a little bit, if that's what you have to do, because it's going to be gathered anyway, so any bunching up is fine. Time to pass the elastic through. Before you pass your elastic through, you need to make sure you have it to fit. What you can do is just put it around your waist or whoever's waist that you're making the skirt for. And, you know, just put it around the waist where it's like snug, you know, comfortably snug. And then you'd maybe want to add a half an inch for stitching and cut there. I know my mannequin girl is like a 22 inch waist. So I'm going to cut the elastic at like 18. So that will be about the right amount of stretch for her. Then I just put a pin through the elastic and we find the part that we left open and we're just going to start passing that through and you want to make sure that the elastic doesn't turn if at all possible. And you also want to make sure you don't lose your end. So I right away, I, you know, I make sure that this is flat and stays flat and I'm going to pin this right here so it won't go in and get lost because then you have to start over. When you get to the opening, you just want to make sure you don't lose your end. I took that other pin out. I'm going to get the elastic to come out this side. Take this pin out. And I'm just going to hold the two elastic ends together. I'm going to the machine and I'm going to just zigzag on there to close that. Now I have the elastic all tucked inside. So I'm just going to the machine. I'm going to hold this open and I'm just going to straight stitch to close that opening. And what we have is what I hope turns out to look cute on my mannequin. <laughs> now, of course, if you didn't want the tails, if your shirt is long enough, you could always cut across to make a straight skirt. You wouldn't even have to make it gathered like this. If you want to make it more fitted, you could do that. But we're just going with this for today, and let's go put it on the mannequin and see how this looks. And I wanted to mention that I have all this left over, the top of this shirt and two sleeves, to try to come up with some kind of a top to go with that skirt. I have a couple of ideas, but I have no clue yet if they're going to work or not, so I want to sleep on it. But I will try to do this for the next Upcycled Fashions, so please subscribe so you don't miss out. Now, off to the mannequin. I don't know if a skirt can get any easier than this, and I think it is so cute. Run to your closet and dig out old shirts that haven't been worn in forever and make your kids some skirts, or yourself. But what an easy way to make a skirt. Just love it. You can see the little tails on the side. And what I did is I just pulled the gathering away a little bit in the front so that the front lays nice and flat. And remember that the buttons do unbutton, but it's a skirt that you actually have to put on over your hips because the waistband is sewn closed. But I just really, really love it. Now, if that shirt would have had a pocket, you could have always cut the pocket off and sewn it onto the skirt somewhere if you wanted, even just like a nice low pocket somewhere. 
Like I said, I'm going to try to do something with the rest of the shirt. So please subscribe so you don't miss that. There's still plenty of room for me to fail. <laughs> but I think this is a major success. And as simple as it was, you know, it's probably not necessary to show you guys how to do this. But I just love it because I think it makes such a nice skirt. And you probably have shirts in your closet that you can use. If not, you can get them pretty cheap at thrift stores. So next time you look at some old shirts, look at them as a skirt. Thank you, Ben and Jason, so much for the clothing you sent. I think I did a decent job with this third shirt that I attempt out of your pile of clothing. Just appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.